Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize components on Figma. So now the first thing that you will need to do is to open your web browser and then you will need just to go to search bar. So you can use any web browser, either it was Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox or any web browser will do the work. After that, we need just to search for Figma and then we will find the first link that is the www.figma.com you click on it and basically you will need just to log in or create an account and basically here i'm already logged in you can just create an account by clicking on get started for free or you can just go and log in if you have already your account so basically i'm just going to log in my account now and after that we will need to create a new design here so basically you can just go and create new design file. You click on it and basically it will take you to your workspace. And now all it remains to do is to follow these simple steps. So now we will need just to create a component and to do so we will need just to regroup uh, multiple elements. So I'm going to start with a frame just to be, just to become more visible for these objects. And I'm going to add, for example, this eclipse and here i'm going to give it another fill color so it can be more visible and now we are going to create our component and basically now we have this component and to resize us all you need to do is to select your component and you start resizing and as you can see if you are clicking on and editing your component you will have both the elements of the components that will be resized and edited and this can uh, be for also uh, like that the round angles and etc so even if you have another instance of your components as you can see it is only an instance of the first one and we have it here you will have that uh, the other components that will be resized too because they are the same components and even if I resize it, you will have them resized both. So basically, this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.